Nigeria's debt stock currently stands at 32.91 trillion naira as of December the 31st, 2020. This is made up of borrowings from the federal government, the 36 states of the federation, and the federal capital territory. If there is any request, Recently, the Senate approved $1.5 billion and 995 million euros external loan requests of the president, adding to the existing borrowings. <laughs> Considering the fact that debt-to-GDP ratio is at 40%, the challenge now is debt service-to-revenue ratio. Is the government generating enough revenue to pay down their debt as they mature? The share of the deficit to be funded by borrowing is 95.43%. The other financing items is revenues that will be coming in as financing items on the proceeds of privatization. A look at the debt stock shows that Lagos tops the list of states with external and domestic debt, despite heavy reliance on internally generated revenues and the Federation Accounts Allocation Committee for funding. Meanwhile, all the states and the FCT generated a sum of 1.31 trillion naira internally in 2020, a drop from 1.33 trillion naira in 2019. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has left government financial obligations remarkably higher. IGRS and FAC have also nosedived. The very critical component, which the is... Director General of the Debt Management Office shares insight on the best way out of this. State governments have your own laws, okay? We have one, we have a DMO Act, have an equivalent at the state level. Uh, again, if you remember what I said, legislations and institutions are what make countries work. Since the recession experienced in 2016, Nigeria has struggled with a higher debt service to revenue ratio as revenue slid in direct correlation with a fall in all prices. Traditionally, only Lagos and Ogun states meets 50% of their revenue from IGRs, while some states get as much as 80% of their revenues from the federation accounts. This has made some states go back to the renegotiation table on servicing non-performing debt. The real issue is the ability of the government to raise the needed revenue to meet up with borrowings. If your total borrowing is small relative to your GDP, other countries have 80 over 100%. Us is uh, less than 22%. But in those countries, debt service to revenue is 10% or 15%. Because the countries have revenues from taxes and duties that people pay. Are you with me? Uh -huh. So here, we don't have that revenue. Hmm? That's why debt service to revenue is high. So what is our worry? That debt service to revenue is high, not the absolute size of the debt stock. With all prices still below expectation and persisting COVID-19, it is likely that Nigeria would be forced to rely more on debt and grants to shore up its falling revenue. However, states have been urged to take drastic measures to reduce expenses and look inward in revving up their revenue base.